Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB. This is Nish Kumar Singh and you are watching Agile Tester Certification. Chapter 1, we are still in 1.2 of the chapter 1 and today we will be talking about the continuous integration. It's not just mere a small word when you talk about continuous integration that it's just about continuously integrating something, of course, you know, but it's going to be quite wide to understand and uh, work on a more detailed way. So it might sound a little longer tutorial, but yes, it's going to help you to understand a lot about continuous integration from different aspects. I'm just going to make it crisp as much as possible, but just pay attention to it. Now, when you talk about continuous integration, it's generally about like when you keep on integrating on daily basis, uh, whatever you make and what you have already built. In simple term, when you develop something on each day or daily basis, what you do the very next day, you integrate it to the previous day work. Now, that generally helps you to identify the integration issues at an early stage. And of course, we remember one of the testing principle that finding defects early is cheaper to fix compared to find later. And also in Agile Manifesto, we have understood that it is uh, so good that when you have early and frequent feedback, even your client comes to know about it, and even we follow such principles where we say that continuous integration one is, is one of the best way to find out any kind of failures or maybe to look forward that if you are really fulfilling the requirements, what we are supposed to at that point of time. And of course, the continuous integration is going to help you in the best manner to do that. Now, when you talk about, of course, it's... Uh, what kind of things can be really done. So it is all about like configuration management, compilation, software build, deployment, or even testing are generally put into one particular piece of code or maybe like one particular piece of work. Now, generally you just combine it and put it together and say that, okay, fine, so far we have been doing this. This is what we have done today. And we're just going to put it to the previous and say, just putting it into a repository or combining it together to say that, hello, whatever we have built new, is that compatible with you or not? And that is what we just say. And when you talk about such continuous integration on a daily basis, of course, that's going to be hectically done if it is manual. So we generally automate such activities that saves a lot of time for us. And of course, it's a repeatable moment or repeatable process. Every day we do such thing. So whatever you build, you just keep on integrating. And that is what you know it as continuous integration. So of course, uh, there'll be a lot of things uh, which generally we do as a part of automating things, not only continuous integration, but we do have a list of things. What you can see in this slide here that uh, what exactly can be automated. So following the developers coding, debugging and checking of the code, shared source code repository, a continuous integration process consists of these following automated activities. As we talk about agile methodology, we say that it is a lightweight process. We keep minimal documentation with minimal time spent on unwanted things because we believe on working product rather than following a plan. So we are talking about doing something creative and making sure that we are reaching towards the goal as early as possible with keeping it consistently in communication with the client. And here are a few of the things which automation is also one of the way by which you can minimize your efforts, minimize your times. So we have static analysis, uh, compilation or unit test, deploying of the environment and uh, in integration test reports, that is your dashboards. These are some major activities which are generally automated in Agile methodology with help of tools, of course. So generally we do have benefits of doing this automatively because uh, when you talk about automating such things, you save a lot of time. But at the same time, we do have certain risk involved which you need to keep an eye on. But we'll talk about it after the next slide. So let's move to the next thing. What we're talking about is here again about continuous integration in more detail. That what exactly is generally uh, continuous integration may get involved with. And we talk about continuous integration allows Agile tester to run automated tests regularly. Now, of course, when you talk about automated tests, it will still be going to save a lot of time and also will help you to identify the defects at an early stage. The test results are visible to all the team members, especially when automated reports are integrated into the process. So your tool must be capable of uh, the dashboard reports when you are automating it. And then, of course, whatever executions you do is automatically generated. Then, of course, the reports can be displayed as a dashboard to everyone. And then people can be uh, you know, able to track what monitoring is going on. And like, you know, tracking the progress on the project becomes simple and easy. And of course, uh, regression testing can be minimized with the efforts because uh, every time you add something new, you remember from the maintenance testing from foundation that it adds, uh, 
you know, a step called as regression testing, which should be performed whenever you do any kind of addition of code to an existing system. Now, other than automation, test organization can also use a build tool to uh, do the continuous integration. So generally, we do get automation build tools or automated build tools, which can help you for conducting or doing the, uh, the builds uh, deployment and all. And of course, other than that, you have many other static and dynamic like non-functional levels uh, coming from the dynamic uh, testing and dynamic analysis could also be automated as a part of it. And putting it all together, generally we talk about saving the time with minimal efforts, but of course, at the same time, we do not want to compromise with the quality and that is what we achieve by continuous integration. And that would be only possible when you work in small chunk of pieces, when you break your user stories into tasks and you make it as a small sprint. You know, we're not talking about traditional approaches because that could be quite difficult to do that. So, so it was not happening anyway. So when you talk about Agile, this is what we have overcome from the traditional styles. We're talking about uh, the quick benefits put together for the continuous integration here that allows early detection and easier root cause analysis because we consistently interact with the code on daily basis that what we are doing so far how we are integrating, then it becomes easy for us to identify the defects. Gives the development team regular feedback whether the code is working or not, because as you integrate something on daily basis, you know since so far it is working fine. Reduces regression risk, because again, quite often you are doing the regression test every time you integrate something new, you conduct regression, so less chance of having a surprise from the other side. Provides confidence that each day's development work is based on a solid foundation, of course, that confidence is built being one of the core objective of testing by just dealing or interacting with the previous and today's work on daily basis. Makes progress toward the completion of the product increment visible. It is traceable, trackable, monitorable. So, of course, it is uh, good to have such thing. And eliminates the schedule risk associated with Big Bang integrations. Provides constant availability of the executable software throughout the sprint for testing demonstration and education purposes. Reduces repetitive manual testing activity because all the major complicated tasks are being automated. Now, of course, I, I was talking about the benefits, then on the other side, we do also have risk involved in using the continuous integration tool. So our continuous integration, of course, the tools may not be introduced and maintained well, that could result into a risk. The continuous integration process must be defined and established. So if you're not well planned for the process, then of course, it could result into something really hectic rather than giving you benefits of the continuous integration. Test automation requires additional resources and can be complex to establish. Now we're talking about the test assets which are being generated as a part of it or maybe required to support the assets. Thorough test coverage is essential to achieve the automated testing advantages and teams sometimes over rely on the unit test and perform too little system and acceptance test. So what we're talking about here is uh, generally putting it, oh, you know, we don't never have a over reliance on the unit testing that, okay, we have done so much unit testing that integration and system testing should be performed minimal. You don't do that, you know, because uh, there are things which we have as an objective of each level that unit testing is meant for a specific reason, system testing is meant for a specific reason again. So no matter how much unit testing you have done so far, doesn't really mean that you can ignore the value of system testing or any other levels which you really have to conduct. So we do not over rely, which you have done a lot. So that will not fulfill the criteria for the system testing. Anyways, team, this is what we have got from the continuous integration to make you understand about continuous integration. Of course, I hope you're clear with it. I've understood the continuous integration concept. So keep exploring, keep learning about the same. Maybe in case you have any questions while you're going through, let me know by just commenting below. And in case you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe because we'll be coming back with another tutorial and many more sessions on different tutorials. Till then, of course, enjoy the video and keep learning. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.